we have learned that prime numbers are very special because these numbers are just like these primary colors because just like these colors combine to give us the different colors prime factors also combine to give us all the factors of a number so these are the prime factors of 50 2 5 and 5 and using these we can get all the factors of 50 so 1 is a factor of every number and then we have 2 then we have 5 then combining 2 and 5 I get 10 combining 2 5's together I get 25 and combining all the three factors I get 50 so this is how I can get all the factors of any number using the prime factors but after you do this how can you be sure whether you have got all the factors so over here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 factors of 50 but suppose there were more factors how do you know whether you have actually listed down all the factors or not so let me tell you a trick over here this trick is very useful in finding out the number of factors which any number has so how many factors does 50 have now 50 can be written as 2 into 5 into 5 this is the prime factorized form of 50 now using this I see that there is 1 2 and there are two fives so I find out how many of each type of prime factors are there so if I take 2 there is just 1 2 and if I take 5 there are two fives so 1 2 and two fives now add 1 to each so to 1 I add 1 and to 2 I add 1 so I add 1 to each to get 2 and 3 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so I add 1 now I need to multiply these two so multiply 2 and 3 to get 6 so 2 into 3 is 6 and this tells me the number of factors of 50 so 50 has 6 factors which we have already seen the 6 factors of 50 are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50 so 50 has 6 factors so now once you find the factors of a number you can cross check using this whether you have actually found all the factors so now can you tell me how many factors will 60 have let us see so first let us count how many of each type of prime factors does 60 have so there are two twos so I write a two there is one three and there is one five two one and one now what if I add one to each so if I add one to two I will get three 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 1 is 2 again. So this is what I have 3, 2 and 2. Now the next step is to multiply these 3, 3 into 2 into 2. Now 3 into 2 is 6 and 6 into 2 is 12. So I get 12 as the answer so 12 is the number of factors of 60 so if I go on to find the factors of 60 I will see that there are 12 factors so when you are told to find all the factors of 60 you should get exactly 12 factors not more not less if you have not got 12 factors that means you are doing something wrong so you need to do it again so wasn't this trick very useful I'm sure it will be very useful for finding all the factors of a number 
so do practice it as many times as you can if you like this video then subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per cbsc icsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures on maths science english and social science a unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts and that's not all you can also win exciting prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now